Hi everybody. Sorry, the flash is on because it's kind of dark, but as you could see, I am not in the hospital anymore. It's Wednesday, um, let me see, 6.28, and I just got out of the hospital. As you can see, I have been poked, I have been abused, well, poked, <laughs> sorry, I was poked right here too with my IV, just... I, um, every, it was a crazy day. Yesterday, I went in by myself thinking my husband was going to come in right after he got off work and things like that, him and his cousin. I go in, and I'm having contractions about three to four, but I thought they were going to stop. They were going to stop my contractions, and then I was going to be able to go home. Everybody was okay with me going to the hospital, but everybody was just kind of running around everywhere. Like, nobody was coming to the hospital with me. Everybody was just in a panic mode, so I didn't understand what was going on. Well, to make this story short, um, I ended up having two shots in my arm. I had one shot on my butt um, to make the baby's lungs, you know, develop, and then I had to take another one at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, but they, they, the two shots that were in my arm, and then they gave me a fluid of water to stop my contractions the three to four but instead of my contractions stopping they were di I started dilating uh, my cervix were opening and um, I did not my contractions did not stop so they had to um, move me to because I was in the triage room in the first video if you guys seen it and it was a short video um, I was kind of on myself I started getting a little angry wondering where my husband was at he was supposed to buy me slippers <laughs> and um, I go to the next room my mom is you know there and she's not telling me anything she's not telling me where my husband's at um, I was I was able to do another blog but it was a very short one it was just kind of my room and letting everybody know and my phone dies so he can't call me I don't know what's going on my mom left her phone in the car she's not telling me anything she's telling me she doesn't know her phone's in the car she don't care she falls asleep so I'm pissed off, I'm upset, and it just made the contractions, I think, even worse. Um, so I ended up getting another dose to stop my contractions, but my contractions were so bad that they could not stop them. So they had to tell me, they came in and told me the bad news and said I have to stay overnight. They had to put... Sorry, if you guys don't want to hear this. They had to put a catheter in me, which was the most painful thing in my life. Um, my contractions were already as bad. And then they gave me a big, giant fluid of water and another big, giant fluid of um, this other stuff that was going to stop my contractions. And then they gave me blood every five hours. I had to literally get poked. So, um... That was bad because they couldn't find my veins. They were digging in my veins. You, I guess I forgot that. Like when they dig through your veins and they have to move all over your hands. And it's just, ugh, I would have so much more bandages all over me. But the lady was just kind of wiping it and then doing another side. And then the one that she actually stuck, she put something on. But it was just horrible. So I'm in there. The doctor confirms you know, you're going to be here the whole night. You can't even get out of bed. They put some stuff on my legs that vibrate my legs. So that weighs, um, I'm sure mommies know if they've been through this. Uh, this is actually my first time going through this. And I have, this is my sixth. Um, they put, you know, the things on my legs. I literally could not get out of bed. So I was stuck in bed all day. Once they found out I was not going to go home, my mom came up to me. She said, we did... We planned this for already a month. She says, we had a surprise baby shower for you. Today, out of all days, Tuesday. I mean, come on, random Tuesday, right? Why would they have it? But because my sister's in the Army, and um, she has a job that's kind of... She doesn't get weekends off. A lot of people don't get weekends off anymore, so they all planned it on a Tuesday. A lot of people did come, and... Um, that's why my husband was stuck. He was stuck over there. And my husband did eventually end up coming. And I was being a big crybaby. He had to be here, so I had to get a babysitter. My family was awesome to help me. My sister, Melissa Garcia. My sister, Elena. Um, Boskis. 
and my other sister Elizabeth Trujillo helped me. My sister Stephanie. Oh my gosh, I don't know her new last name. She got married about five years ago, and I don't know her last name. I apologize. I love you, Steph, if you're watching this. I am so sorry. I, I'm, I know it. It's just I have a brain fart right now, so I apologize. But they were just a blessing to me. My husband came. I was able to calm down when he got there. I calmed down knowing that he wasn't just yeah, not wanting to be there for after. Like, okay, he's wanted to be there for every single kid. Why is this one different? I know it's our six, but we were both really excited about it, and I was just so puzzled. But I wanted to show you the some of the things that I have got. My sister did have a beautiful cake, and she did videotape, which I am going to have posted a little bit later, maybe tomorrow, a videotape of the baby shower, of the baby shower that I wasn't able to go. Obviously, he knew about it because um, he wanted to come out for his party. <laughs> But here is the, um, some of the stuff that we got. And we have like full of stuff. Um, this little thing, I know it started singing somewhere. It smells so, so good too. My sister Stephanie got me this. Full of stuff in here. Diapers, wipes, bottles, um, little boy bottles, little socks. She even got me... Um, this little book for his photos, first photos and things like that, which I've always wanted to do, go into crafting and all that. She got me a baby powder. She got me shampoo. She got me lotion, just all kinds of stuff. Um, we got diapers. We got all kinds of cute things from clothes. Um, if I can get that out. Some of these clothes we got. I'll probably do a better video of all the stuff we did get but we got so much stuff this stuff is so cute too we got a lot of this stuff um my husband's cousin actually thought i was having a girl so but this one is a cute cute blanket we got it is super soft we got that one um my sister i wish i i I was so kind of out of it, but this is like my favorite, like the little monkey stuff. Uh, we got this stuff. So I wasn't able to be there, but I definitely heard about it. <laughs> and we got a video. I barely seen it last night, but I will be posting that surprise video. Um, he thought I had a girl, so he got me this, which I kind of love it. <laughs> I love it a lot. I like this. This is a cute little blanket and stuff, but... Um, got little beanies for him, which I was really wanting to get because I love beanies. And got his little dinosaur, his happy Easter, and this little outfit. Uh, this little outfit, really cute. Um, I think this is the one my sister got me, my sister Melissa Garcia. She helped me, oh my god, she literally... literally had to babysit because I had a somebody that said they were going to babysit and just ignored my phone calls. So that was a really disaster. She put me through a lot of stress. And it was just for my youngest daughter. That was it. And um, my sister got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. with, And her husband had to go to work at 4 o'clock. And literally they were um, picked up my daughter. So my husband could stay at the hospital with me because I was a baby, and um, she was just a blessing to me. I just have the best family. My sister, me and her, were always so close, and she's just awesome. This one is so cute. It says, ladies, man. <laughs> but I'm not even supposed to be on my legs and my feet right now. That's the, some of the stuff right there that we got. We're so happy. My sister, Elena, I just found out that she is going to re a really, really nice um, car seat, and she's giving that to us, and we're just so blessed we're so happy um now i can start crocheting for the giveaway i had to stop i didn't get to do it yesterday and pretty much all day today so um they gave me pills to um stop my contractions because i am having contractions still very big contractions but they're like 10 minutes apart um some seven minutes eight minutes apart so she wants me to stay off my feet and they're expecting me to have the baby very soon i um his lungs should be matured and everything we seen pictures of him and he is 
fat. He has like the fattest little face. They said he's probably about a nine pounder. Maybe, hopefully not 10, but <laughs> maybe nine pounds. But okay, I better go. I am getting a phone call. So I love you guys so much. And um, that's the big surprise. It was my surprise baby shower that I had no idea about. And um, yes, we're still having a baby, but just not today. And um, okay, you guys, I'll see you guys probably, hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully these medications, this medication that they brought me home to will stop my contractions completely and I will not have to, um, I will not have to uh, go back into that hospital because my God, I couldn't even get out of bed. I'm just happy to be out of bed. But okay, I love you guys. My husband's picking up all my kids, so they're all gonna be coming home and back to my life, <laughs> which I love, I'm so blessed. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. You guys are just my support. And when I'm down, you guys are the ones that bring me up. So I, we love you guys. Even my kids love you guys. We watch you guys. We watch your videos too. So please keep subscribing, like, comment, keep messaging me. I love your guys' message. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.